What's going on YouTube? It's the Bushy Beer back with another reaction. I don't know why I just did that whole thing, but I did. And it's surprising, huh? <laughs> no, I don't think it's surprising. By now y'all know I'm a weirdo. But uh that's what I I, I'm, I accept it full on. I, I enjoy being a weirdo, so yeah. Uh, anyways, we're back with Mac Miller grand finale, and I have these lyrics to look up in order to gain more of the story um, and more about who he is. So I've, I've been enjoying this. Um, I'm excited to jump on into this. Let's hear it. The grand finale. Stand on up. Uh, the hallucinations have stopped. Finally, thank God. But uh, my adrenaline reserves are burning out, and I'm staring straight into the face of a total psychotic. He does this a lot, where he puts um, voices or a movie clip or something in the front of his song, which is pretty cool. My adrenaline reserves are burning out, and I'm staring straight into the face of a total psychotic freaker. So I'm assuming, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that this was probably the last track on Faces. And Faces, I think, is the one where he thought he was going to die after it because he was so into drugs. And so he said, forgive me or forgive me if it's my grand finale. This is my grand finale. Bury me in Allegheny County. It's the, the most hated. So faded that I'm bow-legged. Don't bathe. Gross gang. Smell like old old man shit. The flow dangerous. Make you wanna do the wave, throw your bitch right off your lap and start a standing ovation. The most strangers, master of the ceremonies, fit the story, then it's only sharing Moby karaoke. My bitch is shooter, call her Annie Oakley. Get you four pair of Kobe's. Just my bees, the shooter, call her Annie Oakley. My bitch is shooter, call her Annie Oakley. Get you four pair of Kobe's. Just got out on probation and no famous friends from each soul faces. I only go places wasted like I'm Joe Namath Not a king, I'm no David Music, I'm a crackhead No hobbies or recreation Don't even know me. Not a king, no David Friends from each soul faces I only go places wasted like I'm Joe Namath Not a king, I'm no David Music, I'm a crackhead No hobbies or recreation Don't even know my address Self-medicate Self-education Rick Rubin show me transcendental meditation Let us have so I think I'm going to try something different this time. I'm sorry about my dogs. Mainly because I'm having a little bit of hard time hearing and understanding the words. So I think I'm going to start at the end of each verse looking at these. So I can understand the meaning, I guess, behind the whole song as we go. Let's see here. This excerpt's from Bill Murray as author Hunter S. Thompson. Is sampled from 1980 semi biographical biographical film where the buffalo roam. Okay. And if by chance this is my grand finale, bury me in Allegheny County. I, I think that's where he's from. Matt Miller was born and raised in Allegheny, Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. If this is his grand finale, he wants to be buried where it all started. Okay, makes sense. And again, if this is the one where he was heavily influenced in, on drugs, then I guess that kind of makes sense also that he might think that this is... Um, okay, this song was made during the last weeks of Mac Miller living in the L.A. house. He was basically living in his home studio and was terrified of the outside world. This line is saying if he dies after this song is done and when he finally steps outside into the real world, which he thought he would bury him in his home county. Okay. Uh... It is the most hated, so faded that I'm bow-legged. Don't breathe, grass, gross gang. Smell like, oh, low main. Mac Miller is seen in a studio, seen as a studio at someone who so dedicated to the craft and the quality of his music that they never stop working on it, hence the reason Mac never bathes. Okay. Similar to a few of Mac's bars on the track. Avian, I'm nasty, I never shower, go to sleep. On a bed of flowers. Ooh, 
That's pretty cool. The flow dangerous. Make you want to do the wave. Throw your B right off your lap and start a standing ovation. Okay. The most strangest master of ceremonies. A fifth of Stoli. Then it's only share in Moby karaoke. Uh, I think St Stoli might be a um, brand of alcohol. I'm not big into drinking, so I, I don't know, but I think that is. And then share in Moby karaoke. Okay. My B is a shooter caller, Annie Oakley. I, I picked that one up. Uh, got a pair of Kobe's just out of uh, on probation. For further proof that his girl is a ride or die chick, she got she just got out on probation, already down to steal from Mac. Okay. Okay, interesting. And no famous friends for me, just old faces. Max money is who he considered his. Okay, interesting. Um, I only go places wasted like Joe Namath, former NFL player. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Not a king. I'm no David. King David from Biblical. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, the only thing Mac and David had in common was music. Mac is just a musician and a crackhead and not a king. Okay. Mac is not a crackhead. Also, I believe he is also re referencing the popular children's picture book, No David. Oh, uh, no hobbies and recreations. Rec recreation. Don't even know the address. Self medicate. Self education. Rick Rubin showed me my transcendental meditation. Okay. Apart from making music and possibly taking drugs, Mac doesn't have anything else that he can do on his spare time. This is also cross reference with the line and what do you do? Um, now it's seven in the morning. This rapper life is so boring. Okay. And then Rick Rubin. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. And we are going back to the song. Sorry, guys, if uh, this is bothering you, let me know in the comments and I will not do it again. I would say, Mac, the world is not just fine without you. We miss you. Are you ready for the fireworks? It was a solid night till the fireworks. The grand finale makes sense with fireworks. Yeah, okay, I, okay I, I fear nothing on this odyssey of dark roads God lives in my dog's soul, the devil in his dog bowl We are the prophets Jesus was a poor sporty Buddha Nostradamus Turned water into wine, but he loved the gin and tonic Had skeletons in his closet Even God would one day be forgotten And recently I've been feeling I've been feeling like It'd be really nice to get to sit with Mickey Weiss Shoot the shit by life, he'd be pissed I'm sniffing white Never got to see me grow up, how long it take to live a life I'm a bit surprised that I'm even still alive Mixing uppers and downers, practically suicide My old Jewish mind, remember music, you'll be fine And I make my own beats now, with you behind Hallucinations, how I use my mind Come let us have a grand finale The world will be just fine without me Now I've got a smile on his face He's going down, we going out with a bang Are you ready for the fireworks? It was a solid night to the fireworks It's gotta be an empty feeling to feel like that the world will be fine without you But it's something I think we all feel like sometimes I know I have I think it's just unfortunate for Mac because I feel like he felt like that a lot, even though it wasn't true. You know, I think I think he inspired a whole lot more people in his music and through his music than he probably thought. Um, all right, so let's have a grand finale. This world will be just fine without me. The clown got a smile on his face. 
slow it down we going out with the bang and you are are you ready for the fireworks it was si it was a silent night to the fireworks okay the hook in the title of the song can be seen as a double entendre grand finale is the last song of the mixtape okay which would constitute the idea of it being a grand finale grand finale also refers to mac's death mac wondered what he would be like when he dies and hopes he and hopes he'll live uh leave in style the song was actually this to signify the grand finale of the sanctuary max studio that a lot of rappers would go and record and where max spent all of his time he has since moved away from this sanctuary interesting huh i wonder if the, i guess i could make make some sense yeah i uh, yeah okay i i fear nothing on the odyssey of the dark roads this appears to be somewhat of a paraphrase of the classic bible even though i walk through the shadow of the valley of the death i will fear no evil and odyssey is a long journey full of learning experiences so mac fears nothing as he moves on in his quest for knowledge god lives in my dog soul the devil in his dog bowl mac feels that god lives in the natural innocence and loyalty of dogs but say it exists in the man-made food sitting in the dog bowl naturally we tend to be loyal towards god uh, but society tends to stray us away from that. Matt could be referring to the show Wilford, where the main character sees his dog as a man or in a man suit and telling him to let go, to let go, just throw the ball to him instead. This is a very Buddhist approach, where the dog bowl would refer to the greed that wolves chose to be domesticated rather than hunt wild. Similar to humans, the way our food is processed to the degree of dogs, food, uh, or a metaphor with money, which Mac mentions in Ava Maria. Also, a play on the fact that dog is God backwards. Okay. We are prophets. Jesus was a poor sport. He booted Nostradamus. Mac feels that it's unfair for Jesus to dismiss those who strive to predict the future and become more godlike as false prophets. While most of Notre Dame's predictions have been debunked for being overly vague, Max sees nothing wrong with a mortal that tries to use the gift that his maker gave to him. This continues to show Max growing discontentment. This is also an allusion to Nas's fourth uh, album, Notre Dame. Max is well known. Nas fan and he mentions him in various songs okay turn water into wine but he loved gin and tonic had skeletons in his closet Mac chose not to view Jesus as a flawless Christ figure he was a human like the rest of us and had to have his own vices that he had to deal with which is not necessary which is not true most people view Jesus turning water into wine as an absolute miracle but Mac suggests that he might have just been an alcoholic that preferred wine over water hmm, not true but Okay, Mac makes this controversial statement, even God will one day be forgotten. Eh, I mean, the way that the world's going now, hopefully not, but Mac makes this controversial statement claiming that God, the maker and ruler of the entire universe, will one day become unimportant. This is a consistent with Mac's beliefs and other humans over God figures and growing dissatisfaction with organized religion. Mac's also referring to many polytheistics and and uh, ancient religions whose beliefs nowadays seem mystical at most uh, American Christians. Um, and I think also, I, maybe I'm pulling more from it, but that um, to, I guess, uh, the way that, again, I, I don't know, but as society has moved, uh, it seems to be not necessarily Christ-focused, which is unfortunate, but maybe he was, I, I, I don't know. I don't know Mac very well, so... <clears throat> Uh, Mickey Weiss is Mac's deceased grandfather, better known to some as Poppy. As Mac began to ponder the meaning of life and death, he began to miss his grandfather more and more. And although Mac knows that he might not approve of all the decisions, he would still be worth it to get the chance to talk to him again. Um, sorry, I'm still, I'm even still alive. Mixing uppers and downers and practically suicide. Okay. Mac is surprised he's managed to stay alive with all the drugs and combinations that he's tried. Mood swing can also be a sign of depression. On 11-5-2018, it was revealed that Macklin died from mixing an upper cocaine with a downer, fentanyl, and alcohol. 
ultimately leading to his fatal overdose. This line is eerily relevant years after the song was released. I don't, from what I heard, he didn't mix it. It was, um, the drug dealer mixed it and he didn't know that. So maybe, I don't know. That's what I've been told and that's what I'm going with. Uh, Mac shouts out recently formed label Remember Music as well as his website oldjewish.com. You can download the tape straight from his website. Doesn't he say Remember Music? You'll be fine. As an even without him, he dies, and this was a grand finale legacy. Okay. Hallucinations, how I use my mind. Who am I? Mac begins grand finale with a simple antidote. The hallucination stopped, and that's he's staring at the faces of a total psychotic freak out. In this line, Mac is saying that his hallucinations are how he thinks. Mac has many different alter egos, such as Larry Fishman, Delusional Thomas, Larry Lovenston, Lovesting, etc. His mind is consumed by these alter egos and hallucinations. And as he asks the next line, who am I, he uses the delusional Thomas high-pitched voice to present the fact that his mind is consumed by all the alter egos. Okay. I like how this whole piece, remember music, will be fine. And I make my own beats now. If you're behind hallucinations, how I use my mind, who am I? Is he talking to his friend who passed, which remember music is named after? Hmm. <laughs> Interessante. Alrighty. That's pretty cool. So um, thank you all for sticking with me through this. I'm trying to learn as much about Mac as possible. Um, yeah, so, and I'm enjoying it. Um, I give the song an A. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. And until next time, YouTube, smile like you mean it from the Bushy Beard.